Well, here we go again, Lewis. We've got an uh, interesting one, this one. We've got the third of the Cope brothers turning over, young Adam Cope. Uh, I've known Adam very well from amateur days. To be, I've been very excited, actually. That's what, one of the main reasons I've come tonight, is to watch how Adam gets on. He and great. to see me, of course. Uh, and of course, you Phil. <laughs> but I, I've, I used to love Adam, watching Adam. And the amateur day has got a good pro style. And I'm, I'm, I'm hoping he's going to do number one Alhamidi the night. Well, like you said, I think uh, he's getting a few pounds away to Alhamidi here. Yeah. And Alhamidi's a, he's a very experienced yeah. guy to put you in there with the, for your first fight. So very slick, isn't he? He doesn't get stopped a lot, Eva. You see him yeah. again running away. He's, Adam just needs to stay nice and composed by that job and just keep keep doing what he's oh lovely body shot. So, what's the difference between Adam Cope and his his two brothers? What's the difference in the styles for you? Adam Cope is just a pure pressure pressure fighter. Loves coming forward. Loves throwing them body shots. Yeah. Loves having a bit of a war action to be fair. A really tough kid. I done a, I done a bit of spawning for the Ellison fight actually with him and his brother Luke. Yeah. And uh, he's done he done really well actually. Uh, I would, and I would definitely have him back in, in camp for sparring. And he's only going to get better. Isn't he's he? only going to get better. You're right there. But like I see, he's got a lot of support. He's staying nice and relaxed. He's not he's not trying to force it. He's staying by in that job. I mean, we all know Alamir. Mean, he's 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 a trickster, isn't he? He's going to. Do everything he can to get out of the way and yeah. make you look stupid. He's a good man to put somebody in against on the first fight. That's no, for sure. he is. He's a man like it's hard to look. He's hard to look good against anyway. I mean, I've, I've boxed Alamiri. Uh, hey, I, it was the worst fight I've ever had. To be fair, yeah. I just wanted out of there. He was just horrible. A great experience. Yeah, for a great you. experience. You're right not, there. Maybe not at the time. No. But it's something you can look back on and you get the things you've worked on in the gym since and the certain styles you fight against. It yeah. all prepares you for when you step yeah, up on the level, as obviously you're doing there next weekend. But Adam's doing well. He's not trying to force it and he's just having a, look, having a, having a bit of a look. Looks yeah. like he's got good balance there. No, you'll not see the best of Adam Cope until he steps up and he yeah. fights them, them kids that'll, that'll have a go of him. And believe me, Adam will be a good lad. Yeah, Al Hamidi's the type where if you stay on top of him, he'll generally, you know, he'll mainly go into survival mode a little yeah. bit. But if he gets any encouragement at all, he's he he, he can. Yeah. But I mean, he's, he seems he, to be yeah. keeping him in, in his. Uh, yeah, he's got that. Place, he's got yeah. that famous name of Crawler on his record, hasn't he, Al Hamidi? So he's he's beat Crawler before yeah. in the early days. So. Couldn't be you though. No. <laughs> I like that one, Phil. I like that one. Too right. Long may that continue, yes, mate. Yes, hopefully. Like I say, a little bit of. He's just impossible to pin down, Alan Meade. He just runs and runs. Alan's just got to stay. And when he gets him in them corners, he's got to let the punches go. But I think that I would certainly, obviously, with Neil Fannin's experience, Adam will have been coming in here knowing what he's up against, yeah. know what the challenges are, as opposed to the frustrations you can get, obviously, like, which you've been yeah. through. But, well, he doesn't look like he's getting frustrated. No, I, had, I seen uh, Adam through the week. It was my last spawn session. I was spawning with Peter, yeah. and Adam was in the gym, and he I'm having a good bit crack on. And he says, "Oh, I know what he's about." Uh, he says, "Ah, oh, probably not stopping, but I'll, I'll give him, a, I'll give it a good go." So, uh, but like I say, he's just nice and. And I'm expecting him to come on quite strong now. First round of seeing him out then, yeah. But again, you don't stop Al Hamidi with one shot. You no, have to you break don't. him down. It's, he's one of them fighters where you know you're probably going to miss the first two or three, but it's the shots after that that's going to connect with him. But it's just, it's like we were saying in the first fight, when you're throwing them shots and you're, and you're missing, it's, it's you, you get a bit, you, it, you do, and you get a bit, oh, I didn't really want to throw because yeah. I know I'm going to miss you. And, you start questioning yourself you do, as well, lose confidence. That was a good left hand well, there. Yeah. Well timed. Oh, nice Ooh. right hand, yeah. He's having a good go, isn't yeah. he? Yeah. 
But that's what's absolutely key when you, when you, when you get someone with lateral movement like Al Hamidi here. Obviously, because there's not too much coming back, you know, he's going to have bigger challenges. But yeah. it's all about when they're moving side to side, it, it's, it's nice. letting the shots go at no, the right, right time. And, and Adam, Adam was a, a, a good amateur. He boxed for England, he won the Tri Nations, he's, he's got the Winnie BA final, so he's, he's got that pedigree as well, yeah. where you, you can't throw the punches and punches. Yeah, I see he's come out a bit, bit more faster tempo, hasn't he? And he's trying to put them shots together. That's it. If you look for the big shots against Alameda, you'll miss because exactly. you can see them coming. He's got to do what I'm just doing, nice and relaxed, just nice and fast. And then they ask. Nice head movement there on yeah. again. But he's not admiring his own work. No, he's, he's not. He's keeping he? his shape and he's ready, he's ready to go again there. But Alan Meadie's doing a bit the same what Nathan Hardy was doing the previous fight, he's just going to his left. Yeah. Step like I say, well Glenn should have been step over and then throw that right that right hook. He is, it's it's the last 40 it's all seconds. Is just, isn't it? Ah, it is. Some more good success from Corp there. Yeah. Not getting carried away though. He's tried the right hook there, so he's he's looking for it. He's looking for it. And I see is even though you know Alameda's not throwing much, but he's still moving that head, just anticipating yeah. in case something comes. I mean, it would be nice if Alameda had a little bit of a go back, mind. He's not throwing the punches, he's just... No. But again, if Cope wasn't staying on top of him the way that he is, uh, then that, those are the ones where Al Hamidi does have a go more. Yeah. Similar to William Warburton. Yeah, you're right there. If you stay on top of him, then, you, you know, you, 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 he's probably fighting next week or the week after, doesn't want to get stopped, doesn't want to get a suspension or a ban or whatever, you know. Where yeah. But another good round from Cope. Ah, yeah, another good round. Yeah, I would say more dominant the second round than yeah, the might, first. Yeah. Letting his shots go a little bit more in the second round there, wasn't he? He was having some success. Hey, you've got some connections with a few fighters on the show tonight, haven't you? Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you've got some history, Mr. Ritson. And some future as well. Ah, yes. Made that hard. <laughs> <laughs> He looks like he's enjoying himself there, Adam. No, as well, he does. He? Like I say, he's he sold a few tickets and he's and he's just enjoying himself. He's and he's he's, he's performing quite well actually for for Alamiri because like I see I've boxed him before myself and he's just horrible, horrible man to box. He's, oh, I don't even want to think about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we have nightmares when he. No, I will tonight. be. Past the halfway stage yeah. there now, we're going to the third round. Just for those who uh, might not be sure, Cope in the grey sort of camouflage yeah. shorts, Al Hamidi in the blue and red. Nice and relaxed. He's, he looks good at him when he's nice and relaxed behind that jab, popping it out. Like I say, he, he, he keeps his balance well there. He, he doesn't overextend, overcommit. So no, he's got good timing. But Al Hamidi just doesn't stay still for no, a second. No, he does doesn't, he? does he? It's like you were saying before, when these lads know that, that this is the way of the living, they're fighting next week and the week after, then they didn't want to commit to them, they just want to oh. make it awkward as they can for you. And I mean, Alan Mead out of all them losses. I think only three or four have been knocked out something yeah. there, so he's he stopped three times in 111 losses and well, he's, yeah. won, he's won 14 fights. Aye. A nice body shot though, that's what he needs to do. Yeah, but he wasn't loading up, he wasn't overloading it. No. So the accuracy was there and he again he kept his balance with it. 
And now he's coming on top here. Alhamidi just threw a shot. <laughs> Thought it worth mentioning. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Feeds only one he's through, isn't it? But nice. like I say, we've, we've, you've been in against him. We've seen him fight a number of times, Alhamidi. And it's a matter of Adams doing a very good job no, of he is. just nullifying him. He's not giving him any encouragement whatsoever. He's just staying nice to relax. He's, he's not getting frustrated. And he's, oh, now let me, he's letting his hands go. He is a bit there now, yeah. Like we'll see with Cope giving a bit of weight away here. Yeah, I know. I was quite surprised with that, how the weight difference. Ooh, good, good right of the body. Yeah, that. you're right there. He's, just, he's got to pop that jab out and just letting the punches flow. Yeah. It's interesting that Alhamid, he's, he's, he's getting his back away from the ropes a bit more yes, yeah. now. Oh, nice body shot again by Adam. Oh, oh right, right, right yeah, Alhamid, yeah. yeah. And again. I think when you get these opponents or journeymen when they're coming away, they sometimes like to show what they're capable of yeah. in certain phases of the fight. Here we go, final round, yeah. Lewis. Yeah, Ali Mead had a, had a... He come on a bit the last minute of that round, didn't he? He, he, did, he, he sort of threw a few shots. Is that him gaining in confidence or just spitting a little bit defiant? Ah, I think he might be spitting a... That, uh, when you fight these journeymen, they do nothing for two, 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 two and a half rounds. Yeah. Sometimes they get a bit complacent, don't you? And then you're thinking, oh, yeah, they go, they throw yeah. a few shots and then they go back into the shell and then they're away, so... Well, Adams, Adams those are very well. important lessons, isn't it? Because obviously you switch off for a split second at the higher level. That can, that can happen, can't it? And we've seen it happen time and time again. Yeah. Unless you've got a granite chin like you, you know. I mean, you can, you can, you can switch off every now and again. Yeah. You and Mr. Froch. <laughs> But it's been a good display by Adam for, for the opponent that he's had. Yeah. He could have got a lot easier opponents who were just going to stand there and he could have blasted out, but he's he's got Alamedi in and he's work, he, he worked on a few things. It's like I say, Ooh, it, nice shows, it shot. shows a bit confidence because it's not just getting the result. Like you say, when you fought Alhamidi, he gave you nightmares. It was frustration. and it was Nightmares as he wasn't throwing any punches. No, he's no. just running, running for his life. And he's done a bit. He's done the same a bit with Adam. I mean, at least he's had a little bit of a go with Adam in that last a round. I mean, bit, yeah. he didn't have any of that with me. I was a bit. But I mean, Adam's done really well. I mean, plus he's got quite a few, quite a bit of weight advantage over Adam yeah. tonight. Uh, and Adam's Adam's doing well. He's. But you can probably feel that in there as well with yeah. the exchanges, can't he? Yeah, I see. Well, Adam, you'll see. You'll see the better of Adam when the better of opponent. Uh, he's like that in the amateurs. The better of opponent, the better display you got off him. But he's done well tonight, that body, like he's got a wicked right body shot. I guess you felt that a few times in sparring. Aye, aye. Four. <laughs> I went to there, Jim. It was like a sauna. Four. Came out abandoned weight, did oh, you? Oh, four. <laughs> I wore a jumper, pants I was making weight. 
And after two rounds on him, two rounds went, I bet you're regretting wearing them for two rounds, am I? <laughs> I'm taking the black bin oh, liner off aye, now. Aye, aye. Yeah, um, again, Al, Al Hamidi showing a little, not a load of ambition, but a bit more ambition yeah. there. He's obviously confident enough that he's. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, for your first fight as well. I mean, it's for selling tickets pe perspective, you're always going to look horrible against Al Hamidi. You're not going to look great, are you? Uh, but Adam, so I mean, Al Hamidi's come. He's thrown a few punches now. To be fair, like, oh, nice right hand by Adam there. Because a lot of the core fans, that seemed like a short round, it didn't did, it? didn't it? Yeah, it did. Yeah, a lot of the core fans that follow them in the amateurs as well as the pros. Yeah. So it's not the first time most of these guys have come along to watch Adam fight. Oh yeah. I mean, the core seem to have a bit of a loyal, uh, loyal following, don't they? Is it? The, I mean, there's freedom fighting who so always bring a great atmosphere. Yeah, the and let's be hope that all three of them ones fight on the same bill and got a ticket deal because oh. I don't think be, oh. <laughs> that would be tricky, wouldn't it? Aye. Billy Hardy getting a bit forceful on the mic yeah. there. He'll get he'll go out the ring and sort them out himself. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Comfortable win, comfortable win for there. You say Hamidi, I'll uh, say Hamidi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's call the whole thing off. Yeah. But no, I think, like you said, it, it was one of those fights where it was pretty much the same all the way. It was the same pattern each round, wasn't yeah. it? Which it's, 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 